can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given this three equation, x squared plus yz equals 9, x cubed plus y squared z equals 12, and x raised to the fourth power plus y cubed z equals 16, then the goal in this question is to solve for the real values of x, y, and z that satisfies this equation. So pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. All right. So to answer this kind of question, we have three equations in three variables. So let's call the first equation as equation 1, equation 2, the second, and the third, equation 3. Now, to solve this, what we're going to do is first to eliminate one of its variable to have an equation with two variables only. And to do that, we will use equation 2 and equation 1. So equation 2 divide this by equation 1. And using those two equations, what we're going to do is first, let's subtract x cubed on both sides for the first, the second equation. And on the first equation, subtract x squared on both sides. And why we do that? Because now, if we divide these two equations, take note that we now eliminate the variable z. This is just 1. And y squared over y is just y. So the second equation divided by the first equation, we get that y equals 12 minus x cubed over 9 minus x squared. And this equation, we call this as our equation number 4. And now, to continue with our process, let's get the third equation and divide this by the second equation. So let's do that. And before that, let's subtract x raised to the fourth power and x cubed on both sides. Now, divide these two equations. And from here, again, we eliminate the variable z. This is just 1. And y cubed over y squared is just y. And now, let's call this equation as our equation number. Five. And now, getting the equation 4 and equation 5, take note that those two equations are both equated to y, meaning these two expressions are the same. So we can say that 12 minus x cubed over 9 minus x squared equals 16 minus x raised to the fourth power all over 12 minus x cubed. Now we have an equation a rational equation with only one variable x. So we can also for the value of x. And to do that, let's cross multiply. So 12 minus x cubed raised to the power of 2 equals 16 minus x raised to the fourth power multiplied by 9 minus x squared. And expanding this, 12 minus x cubed raised to the power of 2 will give us 144 minus 24 x cubed plus x raised to the sixth power equals the product of these two simply equivalent to 144 minus 16x squared minus 9x raised to the fourth power plus x raised to the sixth power. Now combining like terms, take note, if we subtract x raised to the sixth power on both sides, this is just 0. And if we subtract 144, this is just now 0. So we end up with this equation. And now equate this to 0 and rearrange the power of x from the highest power to the lowest power, we have 9x raised to the fourth power minus 24x cubed plus 16x squared equals 0. Now let's focus on this result. And now take note, on these three terms, we have a common monomial factor of x squared. So let's factor out x squared. And then note that 9x squared minus 24x plus 16, this is not obvious, but this quadratic expression is a perfect square trinomial because we can factor this out nicely as 3x minus 4 raised to the power of 2. So we end up with x squared multiplied by 3x minus 4 raised to the power of 2 equals 0. And now getting the square root on both sides, we get that x multiplied by 3x minus 4 equals 0. And now using the 0 property, we can say that x equals 0 and 3x minus 4 equals 0 or simply we get that x equals 4 over 3. So solving 
this equation, we found two possible cases. The first case is when x equals 0, and the second case when x equals 4 over 3. Now, we know x equals 0, so to find the value of y, we will use either equation 4 or equation 5. And using equation 4, if this x are 0, we have y equals 12 over 9. And 12 over 9, we can simplify this further as 4 over 3. So when x is 0, y equals 4 over 3. Now to solve for the value of z, we will use equation 1, 2, or 3. And either of the 3, we get that z equals 27 over 4. Now, on the second case, we will do the same thing. If x equals 4 over 3, using the fourth and the fifth equation, we get that y equals 4 over 3 also. And using the first, second, or the third equation to find the value of z, we get that z equals 65 over 12. Therefore, given these three equations, x squared plus yz equals 9, x cubed plus y squared z equals 12, x raised to the fourth power plus y cubed z equals 16, then I will end up with these two possible cases. We have x equals 0, y equals 4 over 3, and z equals 27 over 4. And the other case is when x equals 4 over 3, y equals 4 over 3, and z equals 65 over 12. And as always, we are done.